Mind your decisions, Presh Tullwalker here. In Mathland, birthdays are very important. By law, a company has to give all of its employees a holiday whenever any of its employees has a birthday. Also, a company cannot discriminate based on a person's birthday. The employees really enjoy the birthday holidays because they work all other days of a 365-day year. A company that hires too many employees is doomed to have too many holidays, but a company that hires too few employees will be understaffed. So a company hires you to do the math. How many workers should the company hire so that it has the highest expected person days worked per year? This problem is adapted from Frederick Mosteller's 50 Challenging Problems in Probability with Solutions. Pause the video if you'd like to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Suppose a company has n employees. An employee has a 1 over 365 chance to be born each day. That means there's a 364 over 365 chance that each day is not a person's birthday. The probability that a given day has no birthdays will be the product of this for each of the n employees. This is because each employee's birthday is assumed to be an independent event. We'll group these terms together and we get 364 over 365 to the power of n. Now, we need to take the expected workdays, which will be this sum over all of the 365 days in the year. We substitute in the formula, and then we sum from 1 to 365 to get 365 multiplied by 364 over 365 all to the power of n. Now recall that the company has n employees, so the expected person workdays will be n multiplied by this. This is what we want to maximize. Now we can use a clever little trick. Since the natural log is a monotonically increasing function, we can equivalently maximize the natural logarithm of this function. So we maximize the logarithm. Now we use the properties of logarithms. The product will turn into a sum. And then we take this exponent n and bring it down. We can now take the first derivative to find extrema. The first derivative is equal to 1 over n plus the natural log of 364 over 365. We can solve for where this is equal to 0, and we'll get n star is equal to negative 1 over the natural log of 364 over 365. Notice the first derivative is greater than 0 for values less than this, and it's less than 0 for values greater than this. Thus we have a maximum. We now consider what value this is, and we get 364.5, approximately. We're considering whole numbers of workers, so we're going to test the cases of n is equal to 364 and n is equal to 365. We'll go back to the original form of the function that we wanted to maximize. We'll then substitute in n is equal to 364 and n is equal to 365. At first I thought these values were different. But thanks to some help at Math Stack Exchange, they showed me why these two are equal to each other. To see why, let's convert the first formula into the second. We'll multiply it by 365 over 365, which is equal to 1. Now let's switch this 364 and 365. We can then group these fractions together and raise the exponent, and lo and behold, we have two equal formulas. So the answer is either case is true, n is equal to 364 or n is equal to 365. And that's the answer to the puzzle, and it works out to be approximately 48,943.5 person days. But there's one more fun aspect to this puzzle. We'll rewrite this formula as the following. This will be equal to the expected work days with holidays. Now, if there were no holidays at all, 365 employees would work 365 days, so that's 365 squared. If we take the ratio of these two, we'll cancel out these factors, and we end up with 1 minus 1 over 365, this quantity raised to the power of 365. Interestingly, this is approximately equal to 1 over e. 
And the constant E comes out of nowhere. In Mathland, even strange laws about probability holidays lead to magical surprises. Thanks for being the best subscribers on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.